Y'all been watching the interviews I've been doing with other folks who have MS, and hopefully you've been liking watching them as much as I've enjoyed in making them. In the last one, my guest Elizabeth was talking about her involvement with a company that, as it turns out, due to FDA guidelines, does not want to be vlogged about. So I gotta take that video down, cause the feds is watching, son! Me and Elizabeth talked about so much other stuff that I'll just chop that up and make it into a later video. And I was talking to this company too, and made a vlog about it. But since all of this FDA guideline stuff is coming around, I'm like, mm, I'm gonna have to do some fancy editing to that vlog to not mention that company by name. So, here you go! Hey, hey, what's going on? Are you involved in any other MS Foundation, MS Society, other MS types? No, I basically just started talking to my camera. And 1,000 people, 1,500 people later on my YouTube, I'm talking to you. Now, who else do you have besides your wife as far as your support systems? That's it. I got my doctor and I got my wife and my community of YouTube subscribers. When you're in the boat with someone, um, it, it helps make it all better. And you are generally like, look, I don't have the same symptoms of, as you, but I'm in the same boat as you. And that community, that support of not only do I know what you're going through, but I appreciate your voice and thank you for speaking up and please do more of it. Look, there are times when my knees don't work, when my legs are tired, when I'm tired, and I have the YouTube community right there. I can always reply to a comment. I can always make sure I didn't miss any comments. And they provide me, you know, they provide good information and other leads for me to, ch to chase down. And they're just another person. They're just someone else who's there. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little choked up because... Yeah. No, it's okay. That's real. That's good. So tell me, what, why did you decide you wanted to share your story? That's one of the questions we have that we haven't... I mean, I think I have a good idea, but I just want to ask you straight up so I can kind of quote you. Why did you want to share your story? I wanted to share my story because... MS is such an isolating disease and you feel you feel alone and The more I can share my story and, and tell what I'm going through my highs and my lows The more it might help some other person feel less alone and that's why I started the vlog um, because uh, people sort of gravitate to it and it's a community building thing. So uh -huh. if I can help someone um, learn more about the disease, um, uh -huh. be a resource to somebody, and uh, really help them feel less alone, like there's another person on their team with them, then I'm, I'm there for it. That is, you know, that's super helpful. I really, and I just quoted you on most of that. Yeah.